Well, you know what? I'm new here at NWA Supreme. And you know what? I've had a few matches here and there. They all haven't gone my way, but you know what? I will climb this ladder. I will make it to the top. I will get every single title in this business. I don't care if it's the Mid-American Tag Team Championship. I don't care if it's the Supreme Championship. I'm here to win, and I am going to take every body out. It doesn't matter if it's custom-made Eric Draven, Leon Elliott, or the VIP Nick Noble. They're all on my list, and they're all getting taken out. What's this, Nick Noble? It's the thing that cost you the supreme title. Why, you say? It's not a matter about a why. It was all about the win. See, Noble, I told you months ago that when you came back after I tried to break your leg, that I was going to end your career. But I never said win. Well, guess what? Tonight was the night. Tonight was the win. So from now on out, Noble, worry about me. Worry about the East and West Express. Because we're coming for you. Because I will finish the job this time. And you know what even makes this better? is that now you're the Mid-American Tag Team Champions. Guess who's got a guaranteed shot at them? So in other words, watch your back, Noble, because myself and the East and West Express are coming for the titles, but most importantly, we're coming for your career.
Mom always said that there'd be days like this. You win some, you lose some. Tonight, we won some. We won the NWA Mid-America Heavyweight title, and we won the NWA Supreme Heavyweight title. However, we lost the NWA Mid-America Tag Team Championships. Now guys, tell me, what the hell happened? What do you mean? We're a little overworked, Martin. A little overworked. We could use a vacation. A vacation. A vacation. A vacation. But look at it this way. We don't have to defend these belts for 30 days. 30 days, we can sit back on the sidelines. That is true. And not do anything. That sounds real Now, don't you think you need to be training during that of time? Of course. Of course. Well, actually, he can sit back. But on September the 15th, right here at the NWA Supreme Arena. I have to face Josh Lewis inside a steel cage for this championship. And ever since, a few minutes ago when I beat Nick Noble for this belt, I've been back there and people's like, are you worried about Josh Lewis? Not a bit. I am not worried at Josh Lewis. He's six foot four, 272 pounds. He's all jacked up. Million dollar body and a 10 cent brain. Josh, do you really want to be locked inside that cage with a guy like me that will do anything? <laughs> and I mean I anything I to protect I this NWA Supreme Championship. Let me put it this way, listen. I've won the English Supreme Tournament, I've won the Mid-America Tag Team Champions, not once but twice now, but times long. Three, two is late. That's true. Okay, and I won on, won the Mid-America Championship, so, all I need to do this year was win Surviving Steel and Supreme Heavyweight Championship. And then I'm just, I mean, I'm already big as it is, but that would just put me over the top here. Really? You're, you're going to use big? Big. You can, you can drop away out? I mean, you can. Really? You can, you can drop away out? Yeah. A lot big? I'll get drop away out too. I'll get I've been in a cage match with him before too. That's not a talk about. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That would be great. It would be great. It'd be great. It's not gonna happen. No, number one, you still gotta qualify. Okay, I got no problem with that. All right, but I gotta qualify in match two. Yeah. You forget, I would two time survive this still win. That may be true, but I wasn't in those things either. True, but see, this year, I've also won the Mid American Championship. Yeah. Two time. Mid America Tag Team Championship twice this year. Oh. All right. <clears throat> and then, uh, got that. And then I, I did win the Supreme Championship. Right. I beat Simon Dean with the Waffle Maker, middle of the ring. Oh, you're right. And so, I mean, boom. Win Surviving the Steel. Be the only three time Surviving the Steel winner. Go on, win the Supreme Championship. For the second time, that would make me a shoe in for wrestler of the year. You gotta remember, I got rookie of the year. You, of the year. you, you did get rookie of the year. I, I also got an award last year for most hated. It, it, it's still an award, but it's not positive. It's an award. The fans voted. I mean, positive, man. It's, it, it's an award. It's an award. Our, 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 we're, 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 we're going for gold stars here, not demerits. It's, it's, it's a star. It, it is a star. It is an award. I got an award okay. for being the most hated. But here, regardless, I, I beat Eric Draven for being the most hated. Okay. Do I you mean, realize how big of a douchebag you have to be to out douchebag Eric Draven? Can you say douchebag? Why can't I say douchebag? I, can't, I mean, I'm just making sure this is a family show. What are you talking about? You said douchebag. I know I said douchebag. He said douchebag. I said douchebag. Oh. Yeah, he was, he's been standing there the whole time. You, you've been doing this the whole time? Here's the thing you gotta realize, is this is the year of Leon Elliott. And I'm finishing it as the year of Leon Elliott. I, I, I am not debating that this is the year of the lion. All right? We've heard you roar. Okay? Really? We're pulling, we're pulling Katy Perry? Uh, what? I, I'm just saying. 
But when it comes down to it, it's business. It's 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 all. I mean, all bets are off. There's six other guys in surviving the steel. Guys like, I mean, qualifying as Van Martigan. Good have Angus and Tom in it. Good. Good. True. Roger Malcolm could be in it. I got no problem putting him in his place. Oh, my God, I love punch in the mouth. The new guy, Ace. Yeah. That, that new guy, he's, he's, he's hot. So I wasn't here for Omega, but I'm he here. Was, he was I'm, I'm hearing things. I'm hearing things. Not not all good things. I heard he's he's a beast. He, he's what I'm hearing. He's he's very very I haven't seen him yet. Um, J Mo, J Mo's. I mean, we gotta give it up for J Mo. We do have to give it up. J Mo is at that spot now where he's he's almost backed into a corner where he has to win. Some, surviving the steel. Or he's he's, or else he's floundered. It's the only other word I can come up with. He just needs something to catch him. On. Either way, one of us is gonna walk out of that cage. Hey, no, no, okay. Remember, I've, I've learned everything from you. Right. Everything and that you know. And I got everything that you know. I you know, learned from I me. Know some tricks. Not everything that I know. September fifteenth. Surviving the steel. Then we'll put our bets. And then I want you to be in my corner when I challenge. I uh, now see it's gonna, be, it's gonna be the other way around. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Hi fans and welcome once again to NWA Supreme's top ten rankings. In at number ten this week, making his debut, Aaron Abbott. <laughs> Also making his debut in the countdown, number nine, Benjamin Thomas. Number eight, The Dark Saint. Number seven, Vivacious Van Martigan. Number six, Angus Barnett. Number five, J-Mo Jesse Morris. Number four, the Super Beast Rob Royale. Number three this week, the Hollywood Giant Tommy Cash. Number two, one half of the NWA Mid America Tag Team Champions Leon Elliott. And number one, the other half of the NWA American Tag Team Champions, the VIP, Nick Noble. And now your singles champion, the NWA Tri-State Television Champion, the Iron Man, Rob Conway. NWA United States Heavyweight Champion, Josh Lewis. NWA Mid-America Heavyweight Champion, Taylor Made, Roger Malcolm. And your NWA Supreme Heavyweight Champion, Custom-made Eric Drake.